Hello everybody. I hope you're having a great time doing your learning at home. I've come up with an idea that we can do for outdoor learning when we're inside um, or in our gardens. And I was thinking, what have we got around our houses that we can use? Well, have a look over here and see what I've been using to make this little dinosaur world. So I've borrowed the dinosaurs from my boy and I've made a little world and this is a real, look at this real plant here that they're all going to start to fight over and munch on. So that's my little dinosaur world. Okay, now how did I make it? You'll see there's some, there's some water in here. How did I make it? I got some of the vegetables you might have at home. So we've got a carrot, got a parsnip. These two grow really well. Um, this idea tends to work best with uh, vegetables that are quite solid and quite hard. Uh, if they're too squidgy and soft like a tomato, it would probably rot in the water. But these are quite good. Look, it's already got a little top on it. That just needs to be out in the daylight and it will turn green and start to grow. So I'm going to pick up my knife very carefully now. At home, you're going to need a mum or dad to help you with this. So please don't be phoning school saying you've cut your finger. Make sure mum and dad help you with this. So I'm going to use my knife and just cut off the top end here. I'm keeping my fingers out of the way. I'm cutting straight down. And then this is the bit we need. So your mum won't mind you having that bit because that means that the rest of the carrot you can have for your tea. So we'll put that back up there. And this little piece is going to sit in there. It might take... Uh, about three or four days for it to start growing and this tall one here has been growing for about a week so I'm going to cut another one of those with my carrot here let's hope that one grows as well I'm going to have the carrot world at the back there and then I'm going to have another another parsnip that's very hard to cut you must get some help if you use a parsnip this one's already got some little bits sprouting off it. So we'll put that one, I might move these dinosaurs over and put that one in there. Okay. Um, now I did, I found this in my cupboard, look. It's a little onion, but it's sprouting there. So because it's been in the dark, it's yellow, but I think if I cut it in half and sit it in there, it should go green. So that's part of my experiment to see what happens. So let's cut that in half. I'm just going to, I'll put that on this side here. Okay. So, if you like dinosaurs, that's a brilliant idea. Brilliant thing to do. If you don't like dinosaurs and you're into Minecraft, take the dinosaurs out and we'll just swap it over. I found some little tiny Minecraft figures. Don't ask me who they are. I'm not even sure, but I'm going to put these in. Let's see what this looks like. I think, is this Steve? I'm not sure. He can, he's as tall as the tree, look. We've got a little Minecraft rabbit. The rabbit could be on top of there. There we go. And we've got a little pumpkin. Pumpkin could be here with Steve. And we've got, oh, I don't know who this is. Is it a witch? So we've made a kind of magical, a magical Minecraft world. Or if you like how to train your dragon and you've got any little dragon pieces, you could add those in as well. So maybe it's Steve and his pet, his pet dragon. So you, you can do all sorts of things with these. You can do all sorts. I think probably to leave it for at least two weeks to see what grows. And then maybe another week and then you probably need to throw it away because it will eventually start to get a bit smelly and a bit rotten. But until then, you can have lots of fun. If you want to take it out of the water and put it in a plant pot with some soil, you could do. You could put things in all around it. You can do lots of different things with this. So have fun. Enjoy your magical dinosaur world.